two sets in with a special trap. And wow, all right. Got a double. Got a double, everyone, right here on this set. If you've seen any of my other videos that I have out there, I caught one in a very unique trap, not normally used for beaver trapping. It was a jig trap. And, uh, but these ones here, I'm interested to see that one because, and I'm sorry, it's really, really sunny. These are definitely two young beaver. So that's awesome. Uh, I don't think the main adults were caught out of this dam here. There's like four dams throughout this whole place. But, so, again, the caster shy trick. Right here's where one was coming up, making a caster mount of its own. So I just blindsided it there. Because when I put caster here, this run like shut right down. I mean, this is a, this is a trail. That's a beaded down trail. I should have just blindsided it anyways. Probably wouldn't have had to wait as long as I waited to make these catches, but that is awesome. There's one there and there's one there. So let's get these pulled up. Again, one-handed and I didn't bring my waders, so let's hope I didn't, don't have to go in here. But man, I am so excited because this is testing a trap. And you're about to see the trap. <clears throat> oh, if I can get it pulled out here. <clears throat> it's actually not a bad sized beaver there. It's a two year old. Oh. So, to explain this, I say it in a lot of my other videos and in PA you're only allowed a six and a half inch jaw spread outside well if you can't tell by this trap what trap it is is a number five bridger let me try to get this out of here with one hand. Cause I'm holding my phone with the other one. <laughs> but anyways, full back foot <clears throat> in there. That's the idea behind this trap. <clears throat> Got that beaver out. See if I can get that in the lighting. That is a HMR PA Bridger Special Number 5. And it's only got a six and a half inch outside jaw spread over the trigger, which makes it PA legal. But it's seven and a half from here to there. And since I got that beaver out one handed, I can maybe get it set here one handed. Oh. It's a little difficult holding the phone with one hand and beaver trapping. But do it back like how my old man showed me when I was a little tiny kid. Use my feet. Down on night latch. There you go. Got that big seven and a half inch capability setting your trap like that towards the bank. So it comes down, steps in it like that. That is awesome. Now, let me explain this idea. This is not my idea. I can't take no credit for this whatsoever. A good buddy of mine, Todd Strohecker. Uh, he is the mastermind behind this idea. I am simply just a fabricator. <clears throat>
That was a close one. I came right up out of there. Wow. Almost went in. Again, I need to get a tripod for doing this stuff. But not really prepared for this today. I'm gonna pull these straps. I'm not gonna reset them. This is enough here. This is a little one. And again, it's also in a Bridger number five that I modified into a PA legal. So there you have it. Double on beavers. Literally. Those are my only two traps here. So that worked out awesome. And man, that was a close call. I pulled that stake out and it came flying out and I fell back and I just pushed with all my leg might to make it over top of, I was about to fall and sit right down in there. <laughs> so I apologize for waving you guys around like that. But again, the credit all belongs to Todd Strohacker here. This was his idea. He's done it to a uh, 750 before in one of his videos. And uh, we've been talking back and forth about a trap to do this to that could possibly be done and available to other PA trappers a, a lot more simpler than other types of traps and this is uh, what we came up with and uh, well what he came up with is the main I like I said the brains behind it all I'm just the guy that fabricated it but we had a solid back foot catch there and a solid front foot catch there.